Strad Voizé. Salam alaikum. Good afternoon, everybody, dear colleagues, and thank you, Dominique Mala, for inviting me uh, to this uh, nice congress in Monaco uh, to talk to you about uh, indications and patient selection about breast lift with threads. I started the uh, spring thread threads six years ago, but not on the breast, but on the face, of course. Next. Next. Voilà. This is my uh, work on faces. Uh, <coughs> face, before, just after, of course. Here you have uh, four, you have four threads. And two, one, one here for teardrops, and one here for cheekbones of uh, hyaluronic acid, two syringes of hyaluronic acid, and uh, four pairs of threads. Another one what, that was performed uh, in uh, Riga, Latvia, in front of television. This one in my clinic also in France, before and just after. I use spring threads. You know this uh, photo. Uh, you know all the hi history of threads without cogs, with cogs, sharp cogs, etc., absorbable or not silhouette and spring threads for face and strong and bigger spring threads for body. You know that also uh, specificity of uh, the spring threads is that they have round cogs. You know they have round cogs and these round, co round cogs, I love them because uh, because they are strong, I think you know that this is made by cut cutting the thread. It's made cutting the thread, and the thread is becoming fragile, not so strong here. Because the di diameter is big enough, large enough here, but not here, and it can break. Here is a better, better shape, better shape, but it's sharp, and uh, sharpness will irritate the skin. And uh, the most important point for me is that when the uh, thread is inserted, you cannot move it in both ways. With spring threads, just uh, having inserted the threads, you can move it again, up or down but not with these threads. They are class B medical uh, CE device, you know that. Uh, a few years ago, I developed my, my own threads. I designed my thread. I found a manufacturer in Korea. I went there. But I work with um, uh, spring threads. They are nice threads. for face and for body. And my topic today is not face, it is body. And in the body, my okay, okay belly, okay butt. And my topic is breast. So, and my topic, my, qu my question, Dominic Mala asked me is wrong and good indications. So I hope I'm waiting for you to help me to choose good and wrong indications. So let's begin with wrong indications. Uh, bad luck for me, now is time for a little nap <laughs> after lunch. But 
10 more minutes, please, for uh, <coughs> interest in my presentation. Wrong indications. Too loud. Too loud is a wrong indication, as uh, previous uh, colleagues said, of course. Too loud. Yes. It's wrong indication for threats. It's good indication for surgery and the psychiatry, <laughs> of course. Tiny is the wrong indications. Too sagging is a wrong indication. And men, men is a wrong indication. Yes, men. This is an indication for surgery, not for threads. Sagging, too sagging, <laughs> age sagging. <laughs> the, you know the advantages of threads. It's suitable for women aged between 20 and 70 years old. I perform uh, the younger age, maybe 34, and the older one was 67. No scar, of course, no general anesthesia, no hospitalization, very natural result, total discretion, no smoking contraindication, possible to add more threads later, ease of uh, uh, procedure, Almost painless, of course, very sh do short downtime. It's, oh, you know, it's a true medical lifting alternative to the surgical lifting. Side effects, that could be interesting, but you know that also. Uh, f literature says uh, 4% visible threads because too superficial. If it is too superficial, you have a choice of replace, remove the thread, or if you have holo marks, just if not all the thread, but some parts, holo mark, uh, use filler. filler. I use filler maybe 10, 20% of patients maybe four days after on when I control them, a little some filler here or here, and that's enough, and they're happy. They are very anxious when they telephone me, and then when I insert some, inject some filler, they are very happy. Uh, pulling too much tension, you have to replace the threads. 4% uh, permanent pain, the pain I got was um, in the, the scalp. Less than 1% uh, infection and extrusion of the threads, you have to remove it. And psychological uh, side effect. For uh, breast, is the same. I have uh, experience of six years for face, a few years and some patients for threads. But it's the same, same side effects. Selection of patients. So, you're going to help me. <laughs> is, it a good, is it a good indication for you? In your opinion, is it a good indication? Yeah, you, you say no, one no, no, no. Professor Bernard, <laughs> no, no, it's not a good indication. Why? Because uh, too sagging and too heavy. Is it a good indication? To know if it is a good indication, I'll always, always for breast make a test, and the test is with the medical tape. And show the patient in the mirror and ask the patient if she is happy with the result she's going to, to have. And uh, she says yes, she, if she validates, 
this will be the result. It's a good indication. And uh, I think for this lady, testing, I think it's a good indication. And the, re the answer is yes. Is it a good indication? Obviously, no. No, two sagging. Two sagging and two withered. You would get a bad result. And this one, this one is your, in your opinion? Yes, you're right. You win a coffee. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, this one, this one is more difficult to answer. I tested with the tape. Uh, another, another photo. And watching the photo, I think yes, it is good indication. I I would do it. I would do it. Yes, yes, I would do. Yes. Maybe more one or two more threads. And this one, the last one, is it for you a good indication? Yes, no? No. Second coffee for you. Very. You are very good for breast lifting and with threads. <laughs> Why is, isn't it a good indication? It is not a good indication because uh, the breast is very nice, in my opinion. And uh, the patient is asking for more volume, not for sagging breast, not for lifting, but for volume. I cannot make any volume with my threads. I'm moving the, the skin, but not uh, making volumes. So it is not a good indication. The technique, you know where to insert the threads? Here, just under the skin, under the skin, in the upper part of the fat. That means here. <coughs> here, here. Technique, there are different techniques, but the medical one <laughs> is not that one. Medical technique can be that one, this left drawing, or the right one. I have no experience with the left one. This is not my patient. This is a, a photo from uh, first CG concept. A uh, colleague made that. I would prefer some drawing like that. This one is nice uh, for me, like a sort of bra. And uh, but the previous one would need many, many, many threads. That the, so the price would be too high. So my technique is this one. My insertion drawing is this one. You have six insertion points. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to show you <coughs> How to how to do? For instance, well, this uh, patient is a model, was a model when I uh, teach to many Chinese doctors. Um, so drawing first, testing, always testing, asking for the validation for the patient, then drawing. Drawing, using spring threads, 
because uh, I think you have for for breast you have only spring thread. I don't know other threads. They are strong enough, good quality. You can not you can uh, you cannot use other threads. I think. So insertion, I use no core needle. Same for the face. Long, blunt needle to insert. As uh, Dr. Sayed said uh, previously, you do not have to insert this way, never. <coughs> you insert perpendicular, then turning the needle parallel to the skin. And for the second needle, same spot, perpendicular, then uh, parallel to the skin. Otherwise, you would get a hollow mark. Inserting, out, in and out, in, out. You can have help with uh, in pince, <laughs> in French. Uh, same, Peter. Six pairs of threads. So six threads on the right breast and six on the left. Technique, okay. Now, oh, in this, for this patient, I had a little problem. When I finished the insertions, I uh, was not really satisfied because I discovered two little um, hollow. Uh, so I thought that was not nice for the patient, that was not perfect. So I decided, and uh, you were there, <laughs> Dominique was there, I decided to remove the threads, so to re and cut and to take them out. I used a little uh, hook, where is my hook? He, uh, here it is, yes, oh, the, okay. This is a little hook for uh, veins removal, phlebectomy. When you insert threads, you must always have a little hook if you need to remove a thread. So I use my little hook catch the thread, got it, cut it, remove it, and inserted another one, and for two threads. And then the result was nice for me and nice for the patient. And that was the result before and after six weeks. Before, same patient, and after six weeks. So I think six pairs of threads is uh, good. Enough and not too much. Enough to sustain the breast and not too much because of the cost for the patient. Another patient I performed this one is Uzbekistan, in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. And checking, uh, this patient, this patient, uh, she said, uh, b before I went to Uzbekistan, uh, they sent me the picture, the photo, and I said, no, the breast is too heavy. It's not a good indication. I said twice, no, it's not a good indication. And the patient asked me again and again and again and say, I want you to do the job. So I say, okay, I can lift not the breast, but just only the nipples. nipples. And uh, I made this test and uh, the patient said, uh, yes, it's nice, okay, you can do it. So I did it. And the result is not so bad. 
I lifted not only the nipples, but also the uh, breast, you know. I lifted two, cent two centimeters here and three centimeters the nipples. Two weeks after. Uh, this is another patient I uh, started with the last last my last patient patient last week. I started with the jawline. Then she's ask, asking me for the neck, and she's asking me for the breast and for the belly. <laughs> this was the jawline last week. The problem, as you know, is here. The oval, oval of the face, and just after. And now, no, here. Just, just not during, during four pairs of red for the face. Usually, uh, before 50 years old, I insert three pairs of red. More than 50, 50 years old, I insert four pair of threads because I, I believe uh, four is better for a long, long time, uh, long time lasting effect, and for not uh, having getting visible tensions on the face. So that was my last patient last week, and just after. I got I succeed I succeeded in removing this. So now she's asking for neck. She's asking for neck. I am going to do neck uh, next week or the other week. And she's asking for breast, the neck. This isn't to show you just to show you an, uh, another patient I made before after day 3 1 Insertion point one two one two, and lifting. And day three, m um, four months, four months. So my next patient is asking now for breast. And I made the test, and it is a good indication. I think. I think I will have a little uh, variation in my drawing. My drawing is not going to be a straight up down. It's going to be a little uh, this way. It's better to have a nice breast. Uh, yes, it seems to be a nice indication, as you can see. This is going to be the result she's going to have the, with the threads. And she's asking for the belly. For the, yes, for the belly. Always remember, the practitioner sh suggests, but the patient always chooses the best technique, surgery or threads or another technique, radio frequency and so on. But of course, of course, threads is the uh, most amazing technique for me. <laughs> and the immediate technique. As you know, Somref uh, website, you can read it in French and English to have <coughs> very uh, good information. For trainings, uh, you can ask me or any colleague to train you. I went in many countries to train uh, colleagues. I can do, go to your clinic or you can come to mine. And uh, yes, of course, the paradise of the earth is between the breast of a woman on the back of a horse in the pages of a book. Uh, Arabic proverb. I like this one. <laughs> you agree? Yes, you agree. You agree. <laughs> Even women, they agree. Women agree. So it's 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 good. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> Do we have uh, some qu questions? Did you, what should be your recommendation for doctors doing a facelift with threads and uh, wanted to start with breasts? What should be your first recommendation? 
Very good question. My first, re uh, I forgot to tell you, <laughs> which is important, is uh, to be, uh, for threads breast uh, lifting, is to insert deeply, deep, uh, more, uh, d deeper than in the face. This is my best recommendation. Because uh, the threads would be visible. If you are not, uh, if you are too superficial, not uh, deep enough. Other question? I don't know. <laughs> uh, the question was, how long does it last? I don't know. I am. I have not. Uh, not many years of experience. I don't know. I don't know. I can answer. Partly. Partly. If the more threads you insert, the more years you are. Uh, it, it is going to last. Maybe one thread, one year. Two threads, six threads, six years. I don't know. And the second answer is that uh, <coughs> depends of the breast. If it's too big, uh, the patient is advised that uh, the result is not, uh, will not last for many years. But with a not too, too large breast, uh, you can maybe a few years, yes, uh, yes, <laughs> yes. And if you move, <laughs> if you make sports, you must wear a bra, of course. I've got a question for you. Um, I saw your, your insertion points. They are quite high. I mean, um, why don't you... Press the button, please. No, it's too hard. <laughs> I did that all my life, you know. And um, is, is, what is the reason for your choice of making the points of insertion, points of entries, so high? I mean, way over the middle of the breast. Be so high, because uh, <coughs> I need to optimize all the the length of the thread. So I choose the length. the The end of the thread is here, of course. So the thread has to be inserted as long as the length of the thread. O otherwise, I would cut the thread. Yes, I understand what you mean, but. You can do like the like the, the the industry does. I mean, like the Wonder Bras. You know, I, I'll try to figure out with the Wonder Bras because they want to lift up and they want to to, uh, to 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 tie them up. So, if you do a little lower and then you go with the hammock. Yes. Uh, yes. With the yes, hammock yes. thing, just like for the neck. I mean, if you go over the over the the, the middle part, then you can have two two uh, you can two effects, which in the first one would be tighten which is what they like, and what maybe you like, and the second effect would be, of course, the lifting. But it, we, I think it, it could be more aesthetic. And the last one, at the very end of this, when you see your results, sometimes this, the upper part here, may be a little bit flat. So either you can put some, uh, you can put some uh, flat graft, of course, but I realize that if you put um, just a little body uh, or face uh, thread just right this way. I mean, you know, not going the, the amok way, just right. Then you can have this very nice shape. I mean, yes, you are probably right. Right. I mean, you I'm mean just following the industry. I mean, you know, Wonder Brows, they made a beautiful job, anatomic job, and I'll try to figure out what we can do with the threads. And I think it could be something like this. Yes, I understand. Uh, maybe one day I'm going to to, to test this okay. technique uh, okay. soon, not one day soon. Okay. You you mean my technique is this technique? Yeah, and I. Yes, it's 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 this technique. Absolutely. But you are speaking about this technique. A little more. Yes. Classical. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I understand. I, I'm from going to from test. The nipple to the side, you know. That, that yeah, yeah. One, then two, then three. Let's make the shape. Okay? Yes. And lift up. But the result sometimes is a little bit flat at the very top. So if you take down to the nipple, point of entry in the middle of the breast, lift up, it makes a beautiful, beautiful result. Yes, your idea is to be, to be tested, yes. 
by our colleagues and me and you. <laughs> yes. That's what we are for, right? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Hello. Hello. Uh, can I ask you? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, after after <laughs> you are blamed for blessed lifting techniques by this uh, technique, uh, I I cannot imagine what the idea or what the anchor who maintain which maintain the lifting effect of the thread. There is no hanging the threads to the fixed point. No. The thread itself, it's That's enough. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's the same for the face. <laughs> but I think, I think the, the, the breast, uh, it's a heavy tissue. Yes. It's not only a skin, not only a fat. Yes. And there is a monthly uh, requirements for the heaviness and a change in the size and ch change of the heaviness of the breast monthly in the, in the ladies. That's why w what I'm thinking, uh, you have to uh, think about anchoring and fixation of these threads, not only the hanging of the threads. It's a, it's a f the f it's a free these types of free floating techniques, depending on the perps or the cogs of the threads, I think it's uh, not suitable for long term results, especially in the breast. Yes. You have to fix, make a more fixation, not only the bulbs. You have to think about this. Uh, uh, in the former times, I am a surgeon. Uh, when I'm, we, we, are, we were thinking about make some sort of uh, breast lifting by proline surgeon, proline uh, uh, stitches, we make an anchor in the clavicle to hang the breast and make a fixing point, not only depending on the barbs or the cogs or the thread. I, I think it's not long term result. Yeah. Yes, but your technique is a surgical technique. No, no, yeah. no, not even by less invasive surgeon. It's by thread, by but making a, ha a, 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 a hook in the tone or the periosteum yeah. to fix the hanging effect of the thread. Yes, of course, but it is considered in France. It is considered as a surgical technique. That means that uh, you have to be a surgeon to do a surgical technique. But you consider to make a service for a patient. It's. Yes, it, exactly. it is the same for the face. Yes. Same for the face. Yes. Technique is my technique is a uh, usual technique. Average technique is just long threads. No fixation. I use no fixation. The fixation is because of 24 cogs per centimeter. So this is many, many, many th cogs along the threads. And that is considered to be enough, considering the results we have, the results we have, I, we get. I agree with. I agree with you, uh, DJ.